Hey everybody, this is Mark with Iable Tech One Twitch, and today we are reviewing 1Password 5. I'm sure you guys have heard of this because this is one of the most popular apps for password management. It's on iOS, it's very, very popular. It's on Mac too, so we're going to taking a look at that right here. So this is the app right here. It's fairly simple user interface. You just have to enter in your password and then it will unlock your vault. So now this is my primary vault, my personal vault, which is why it's all blurred out. So let's go ahead and enter in my demo vault right here. And we'll take a look around the interface. So I can go ahead and search up right here. So I can search for Dropbox, there's that. Then I have all my items. I can also favorite them. So these are my favorite items that I have. Then there's categories. So we have logins, secure notes. So we have notes. There's also credit cards, identities, rewards programs, driver's license, and software licenses. Now, these only show up if you have any of those selected or created. So for example, if I go to the plus button right here, these are all of the options. So there's password, social security number, password, bank account, outdoor license, wireless router, it's kind of cool, server, database, email account, membership, Login, secure note, credit card, identity, which why would you have more than one? But anyway, there's rewards program, driver's license, and software license. So there's a lot of that stuff. And let's just say I have an outdoor license. Then that will then show up down here because there was none before there. Now there is. So we can also go ahead and create folders and we can tag them. And then there's security audit, which is watchtower. There's also these things like duplicate passwords, weak passwords, and passwords that are three plus years, one to three years old, and six to 12 months old. So that will just help you stay on top of your um, passwords and keep everything safe. So let's go ahead and create one real quick. I'm just gonna do a login. It's probably gonna be the most basic one. Um, so let's just say test, and my username is mark at iappletech128.com. My password is password, very secure. And as you can see right here, um, so pass W is more secure than password. See it drops down. And then if I just do like a capital words, then it gets more sophisticated. We can also go ahead and have it create one for us right here. And then we can change the length and also show a recipe so we can make it pronounceable. We can choose a number of digits, symbols, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I'll say that's a good password. Now let's just say it's youtube.com. Now, as you saw when I entered in YouTube, it put up the name right here, the logo. So now it's going to show that on the side right here. So you get a better look and view. It looks a lot cleaner and more beautiful. Um, as you can see, there's icons on all of these. So it will look really nice. So that's what I really like about this right here. This is by far my favorite feature of 1Password or my top two. It's in the top two. This is one-time passwords right here. So all I have to do is either scan the code if I have my phone or I enter in the digit provided by a website. And now if I go log into Dropbox and I need that one password, um, the two digit verification code, that's right there. I just copy it and then I paste it in. It works really easily and this is so awesome. So it's so great not to have to pull out my phone anymore. And I have these both on my Mac and my phone and my watch. So I can just access to my little one-time passwords anywhere. That's really, really cool. Now they also make browser extensions for Safari, Chrome, and Firefox right here. So this is the demo vault. So you can see I have all of my logins right here. So if I'm on a website, I can have it log in for me, which is awesome. But it knows that I am on Fitbit's website right here, which is one of them. So I can go ahead and hover over that, copy the password, or I can go to login. I can right click select one password, and look, Fitbit is right there. I click it, it enters in those form details, and it just logs me right in. Now, if I do need to 
um, two-step verification code, that one-time password. It will not fill that in for me. I have to do that manually. But it's just a lot quicker than filling everything in. And that does promote having better, stronger passwords because you don't have to remember them. It fills them in automatically. Well, that was pretty much it. That's our review on 1Password 5. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. It's just as good or even better than the one for iOS. I absolutely love it and highly recommend it. I don't know how I ever live without it. But anyway, that's going to do me for this video. If you liked it, feel free to leave a like. Subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. This is Mark with IELTS Tech 128, and have a great day.